Hey guys, it's Maddie. I'm here with the founder of Venus Fest. So tell us a little bit about that. So Venus Fest is a women and non-binary music festival in Toronto. We're pretty new. We're just entering our second year. And uh, we launched last September with a lineup of all women and non-binary artists and our staff and organizing team are also women and non-binary folks. And since the festival last year, we've been doing a monthly series as well. And yeah, we're just coming up on our second festival. Amazing, so the monthly series, what, is that like recaps or like kind of touch on that for me? Yeah, so the monthly series has been smaller, more locally based shows and we've done a couple touring artists as well but just something to keep building community on a monthly basis so we've kind of been hosting like one show a month and then so far the festival has been our big main event of the year nice so are all these artists canadian as well or do you have some guests that move? yeah it's a bit of a mix um we've been mostly canadian because there's so many incredible local artists and so many amazing artists in ontario but uh, some of our headliners have been out of town acts as well, and I think four of the artists on the festival this year are out of town. So, yeah. What is one thing that you're looking forward to the most of this year? Uh, well, this year we're doing three nights instead of one, so I'm excited to experience uh, the way the room is on different nights, and just yeah. like the different crowds that show up and how that is in the space. And I'm really excited about some of the artists that are coming. They're favorites of mine. So, oh, nice. yeah, I'm looking forward to listening. <laughs> So I know that some of it is held at the Mod Club, mm -hmm. and we're, and it stretches over a few different locations, right? Yeah, so the Mod Club is going to be our first night on September 20th, and then we're doing two nights at the Opera House after that on the 21st and 22nd, and we have a kickoff show on the 15th at the Baby G, so... Those are good venues. Like, I think so, yeah. That's awesome. That sounds really, really yeah. exciting. Yeah. So what are some of the challenges that you faced, like last year, doing like a festival straight from scratch with your first time? Yeah, well, straight from scratch would be the key there. I think it was a huge learning curve just figuring out what we were doing and how to do it and what kind of staff we needed. And a lot of that was just my own learning curve because yeah. I've never planned a festival before. Um, and so this year, now that we have a better sense of what we're doing and how to do it, we're just trying to understand how to create something that's sustainable and can really you know, stick in the music industry. Yeah. And you probably have a really great team behind you. 100% this would not exist without the team and also the volunteers who have been part of the festival and can't say enough about how important that relationship is with our volunteers because they've really supported and held us up as well. So if somebody wants to volunteer, how do they go about that? Uh, we have a contact form on our website um, and they can just sign up and it's it's kind of a nice mutually beneficial thing for people who might want to go but maybe don't have money for a ticket right now so they can work for a couple hours and watch the show for the rest of the time. Oh, so. nice. That's a little give and take. Yeah, yeah. So I read on your website that you guys are really focused on kind of overcoming and changing the industry with a lot of challenges that face mm -hmm. festivals. Mm -hmm. So what is like your main goal that you want to tackle and just get the message out there? I think gender parity is sort of the obvious goal with the festival because we're thinking about the spaces that women and non-binary folks are able to take up and traditionally like the very low percentage that they make up on festival lineups as well as on the tech team and the organizing side of things. Um, but there's a lot of elements that we've been trying to consider that to me are part of feminism as well. So we really have to look at the economics of how people are being paid and how money and power are distributed within an organization, um, as well as some different accessibility pieces that have been, you know, major barriers to so many people who might want to come into a space, but might not be physically accessible to them, might not feel emotionally or mentally safe to them. So looking at safety and accessibility and just trying to work with our team in a different kind of power structure and dynamic than traditional hierarchies as well, because that collaborative spirit is very much a part of feminism too, I think. That is great. I love it. <laughs> I love it too. <laughs> so there must have, like, you, you sound very passionate about it. I, so there must have yes. been, like, a pivotal moment that you had that you're like, this is what I'm going to do. So what kind of sparked the idea of this for you? Um, it's hard to say in some ways, trying to recall that moment, it feels almost accidental. <laughs> I mean, obviously this is not a new conversation and yeah. people have been having this conversation for goodness knows how long, but I just was starting to feel that we needed more pre proactive solutions to it. So initially last 
April, I guess it was, I launched um, just a, a Facebook page and I didn't have a lineup, I didn't have staff, I didn't have anything. It was just me saying I was going to do an event in September. And what happened in the 24 hour time period after that was just so unexpected to me. Wow. Just like hundreds of people that I've never met emailing me and calling me and, you know, media people messaging me and wow. asking to talk about it. So that turned it into something much more real and, and much more tangible than what I had originally just been. I was thinking about planning a show or something yeah. like that. So it yeah, really it became very real. It. Yeah, it did. That, that, that's awesome that so many people are jumping on to help, especially like Toronto is such a diverse city. Yeah. So I think it fits in. Yeah. I think it's a great idea. So congrats thank on that. Thank you. <laughs> but thank you so much for hanging out and telling us a little bit more about it. Thank you. Yeah. So the festival is coming up in September. It's the 20, 20th to the 22nd. Um, you can buy tickets at venusfest.net, wristbands or individual nights, and it's going to be a really wonderful time. We're excited. Amazing. Yay. We'll see you there. Thank you. My name is Erin Fogel. I'm the founder and director of Venus Fest in Toronto, and you're watching Canadian Beats.